Welcome to American Front Porch, Mid-Americana and Acoustic Traditions with Swamp Weiss and Video Bob Whiteside. You know, it's like, it's like, like saying, hey Bob, was that second one, was that a total number two? <laughs> I mean, I don't care how... Was that all new material or I was could... that just a... <laughs> I didn't realize that you did the same thing over again and called it number two. <laughs> I just thought yeah, I, was I about actually it. haven't even thought about anything to say. Uh, <sighs> I never stopped you before, did I? <laughs> Bob's got the gift of being. Oh, oh man. That's pretty casual. Uh, Don and Jan accused me of being verbose. And, uh, verbose. Yeah. So I just, I, I answered Gary Cooper style. Yep. 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 Nope. So, oh, you want, yeah, you want fresh breast, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's... <clears throat> Never played guitar with that, I'll tell you, it beats the heck out of doing Backwoods Jack <laughs> interviews, I'll tell you. Uh, okay, well, here we are. Porch, hi, hi, oh, hi. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Porch cast number <laughs> something or other. Uh, this, this is uh, one that we, we actually wanted to do. It's not a mandatory. <laughs> This, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Uh, I, I love, I love doing all. I'm, well, it's, yeah, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, we we go to a jam session on Sundays at the Millersburg store, and we're going to uh, do a, a, a oh, probably two or three shows about that. And uh, the most regular person, and I, that's a bit of a stretch at these jam sessions. Is is Randy Hamill, who uh, felt as though he needed a nickname, and so uh, his his uh, admiration of Ramblin' Jack Elliott is well documented. Even though uh, you know, I mean, the guy was you know a drunken jailbird, no good, ne'er do well. Uh, Basically, Randy, it, Randy and uh, Video Bob had a bonding. Yeah, we, we don't really agree on how, how great Ramblin' Jack may or may not be. Anyway, so he ended up with the name Ramblin' Randy. Yeah, Ramblin' Randall? Yeah, I'm like Randall. It's more formal that way, isn't it? I, th I think people named Randall Ramble, hmm. and people named Randy Ramblin'. You know, I, I, to me, I mean, it's... it's uh, yeah. Okay, well, I don't know if he rambles. He, he, uh, he does. He rambles over to Bean Blossom. We yep. ran into Randy at Bean Blossom mm -hmm. uh, one year, and he mm -hmm. is, uh, he's been going to music festivals for a bunch of years, and he just retired. They just let him out of prison recently, and I'll, I'll, let, you, uh, I'll let you tell him about that, Randy. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so uh, how, how, did you come, how did you come to meet Randy? Uh, Randy, I think, uh, met at the uh, Millersburg store, I believe. Yeah, but got to know Randy the last few years. Uh, haven't known him as long as some people, but uh, yeah. <laughs> you haven't known him as long as his mother. <laughs> haven't known him as long, yeah. Are you? <laughs> but yeah, uh, nice fellow. So, you think? think uh, so. Oh, okay, okay, Probably okay. We won't give him too much baloney because he's uh, he actually volunteered to do our one of our porch casts. Uh, he has followed us online a little bit uh, out of. Most of the people at the jam sessions don't go on the internet very much, and he's one of the people that did see what we were doing and said, "Well, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind doing one of those," and and we're really we're we're darn glad he decided to do it. So here he is, Randy. Hey, Randy Hamill. Goodbye, Randy. How you doing, Randy? Good. You know, uh, Bob told me that this would make me famous, so that's that's why. That's what he told me. He said I'd be a household name. He told me that about he told me that about ten or twelve years ago. So. <laughs> He used well, that, see, it worked, it worked. He, he uses that line on a lot of people. <laughs> but who knows? You know, so. Yeah. So Randy, what's been happening, man? Anyway. Well, not much. We're still playing music at the Millersburg store. Yeah. And I'm still uh, contacting Ramla Jack Elliott, you yeah. know, big follower of his. We'll talk all. about that pretty soon. Yeah, Randy <laughs> and I kind of bonded over Bob Dylan and Jack Elliott. We both, we both like them. That's right. Those we people. like them. We like those kind of people. And other people, John Prine and other folks like that. Oh, too. Pete Seeger died. Yeah, is that right? Well, okay. Yeah, 94. 94, wow. Well, yeah, let's, 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 uh, yeah. yeah, really, seriously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sure enough. 
Yeah, he just played. Married, I think he played. Uh, he played last year somewhere. I think I heard. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, there's a connection with Woody Guthrie and people right. got through with. And so, Ramblin' Jack Elliott. And Ramblin' Jack. This is Banjo Fred Starner with Jeff Cahill. Banjo Fred was a disciple and friend of Pete Seeger. Here's our little tribute. Things I know about Randy, he's from, can we say the Carlisle, Illinois area? area. Huey. Carlisle, Huey to be specific. And uh, he has, uh, he's been married for over 30 years. Right? Over 30, 34 years. 34 years. And he's got two boys who are musicians, uh, Ben, if you're out there, Ben, plays guitar and sings. And Jake, who is a fine fiddler and guitar player, say multi instrument and instrumentalist. So. Yeah, he's the only person around these parts that comes close to being swamped the second row. Really. <laughs> yeah. Those are fighting words. <laughs> I wouldn't tag him with that. Uh, anyway, so that's why I know about Randy pretty much. But. Yeah, that's why uh, we started going to Millersburg store. It was uh, uh, every Sunday the jam sessions that they had there, and uh, it was good for the kids to be able to get out and, and play music with other other people, you know, that's, that's, that's the best way to learn. Yeah, you know, sure. Time and you better all. clarify when I said they just let you out of prison. Oh, yes, well, they did let me out. I, uh, my history is uh, uh, when I was around eight years old, uh, I learned about six 
chords on a guitar from my father, decided that uh, I was ready for the world, and, and uh, left home and joined the circus. Wait a minute. And, uh, well, you later on, then, after the circus thing didn't work out. You learned six chords, you forgot three of them, though. And I forgot three. Okay. Then uh, the circus thing <laughs> didn't work out. Uh, uh, you know, I left when I was eight, so uh, I was what too you young to you? actually operate the tilt the world or anything like that, so they, they uh, you know, fixed me up with a fake ID, and uh, I went under the name of uh, uh, Billy uh, Bomber. <laughs> Just before you met Randy Jackson, right? <laughs> right, and then, that's right. Yeah. And I came back home again and uh, uh, took up uh, employment in the oil field. Well, I finished grade school then and went through high school, and I went to work in the oil field. Remember, and, uh, you finished high school, so. Then, then I went to prison. That was back in 88. Where a lot of these inspirations, many songs came from, you know, uh, uh, sitting around, you know, at night with the other inmates and <laughs> okay, learning these songs. Okay, Randy was a prison guard. Okay, yeah. okay, clear. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know. yeah. So, so Randy's on the right side of them. I was. I went to prison for uh, 24 years on the installment plan. I got to go home every night. So. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. You want to play a little bit more? Okay. Yeah. We'll. And, uh, We'll do, the, we'll do the first song that I ever wrote, try to get through that, that uh, Prisoner's Plea. Uh, uh, we was all sitting around out there at the prison one night and uh, swapping stories and, and uh, inmates and, uh, you know, they're hard luck stories a lot of times, you know, about being away from home and, and uh, that kind of gave me the inspiration to write this song. So. All right. you got to write her. There is some truth, there is some truth to this. Me. Here I sit in this old cell, feeling helpless, low as hell, just a thinking, oh God, where did I go wrong? Well, the mail that I'd get from home used to be what kept me strong, but here lately it just brings me more bad news. Because my kids are getting older, and their ways are getting bolder And their mother can't control them anymore Here I sit, my hands tied Contemplating suicide But that won't help to even up the score What can I do, Lord? Well, I'm asking you, Lord. Well, I finally hit rock bottom and I don't know what to do. Asking you, Lord, to help me through, Lord. Well, I finally hit rock bottom and I'll give my life to you. Well, I finally hit rock bottom and I give my life to you. There, there it is. Right. Good or bad. By the way, Randy, where did you get this guitar? Well, uh, a guitar. local man here in Greenville <clears throat> makes those, uh, Carol Hoffnar, and uh, uh, he was a plumber for this trade for 30 plus years, and, and, uh, and he is a body man, and uh, he uh, this one day decided uh, he'd like to uh, try to make a guitar, and uh, this is number ten that he's built, and it's a Very really nice. high quality, yeah. fine guitar. Sounds good, nice. and uh, oh, nice inlay. inlay on really that. done a good job on, and I, I really like it. It's it's a good playing guitar, good song. Too. It's just hard to find uh, craftsmanship like that anymore. People just don't do it anymore, and. and uh, Mm -hmm. Carol enjoys doing it, and, and uh, he experiments to try to get the best sound that he teaching, can. He's teaching his son? I and think so, maybe, yeah. I think so. Well, you guys, because they can't hear me. Yeah. So. Oh. So you're just feeding me lines, basically. I'm just, right. No. So his son's making guitars? That's what I hear, that his son is starting <laughs> to make guitars now. Yeah. 
and uh, it's good. I mean, they're getting a lot of orders in. Uh, they, like I said, they sound good. They're, they're high quality guitar, and, and uh, uh, it's a lot of times you know you don't get that sound out of a guitar for years, and uh, that one there just sounded good as soon as the glue set on it. She sounded yep. good. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of hard to get that quality with mass-produced instruments mm -hmm. sometimes. You know, this is all all handmade. Yeah, in his home. What was his so. name again? Carol Hassenauer. 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 We discussed Ramblin' Jack Elliott earlier, mm -hmm. yep. and uh, I got to go see him at the Rock House. Uh, and you Craig Baumberger told me that uh, uh, he was going to be there, and uh, kind of a last minute deal. Uh, me and my wife drove over there, uh, got, got in, and, and got to see him. He put on a real good show. I mean, he's, he's way up in his. He, he might even be 80 by now, but he really put on a good show. And uh, uh, because I did so much uh, background work on, on him, trying to learn more about him, means that uh, I found out that uh, he was the only link that Dylan had back to Woody Guthrie. Mm -hmm. Because by the time that Dylan <clears throat> decided that he wanted to learn more about Woody Guthrie, Woody Guthrie already had a hunting mm -hmm. disease. And uh, could no longer uh, communicate, and uh, Ramblin' Jack Elliott was li had been living with uh, uh, Woody yeah, Guthrie yeah. for quite a while, right. and so he knew all his stuff. Uh, and then after that, then uh, uh, Dylan kind of patterned himself after mm -hmm. him. You yeah. know, uh, uh, well, he even went on that what was that world tour thing that yeah, he did, the, the uh, Rolling Thunder, the Rolling, Rolling Thunder, Thunder thing. Uh, Ramblin' Jack Elliott was with him on that. Yeah. And so, you know, he had a, a, a Ramblin' Jack Kelly is one of the people that had a lot of influence in, in this music, mm -hmm. but yet no one knows who yeah. Ramblin' Jack Kelly is. That's, and that's, that's yeah. the beauty of it all. He, he yeah. did what he did, but he didn't care about being famous. Mm -hmm. And that's what yeah. slowed it. He just, he didn't care. Which probably meant that he could do a lot of things that people with a lot of fame, I mean, just traveled around the country and he kind of had a <laughs> he made well, he, Ramblin' Jack, he rambled around. Yeah. So, you know. He made yeah. enough, you know, to, yeah. to Eat regular, maybe, yeah. and uh, but nobody really knows who he is, and so uh, I wrote this song about uh, him, and uh, uh, later on, and uh, after you hear the song, then I'll uh, I also uh, got to meet him, and I gave him a copy of this song, handed it to him, and uh, he thanked me for it, and he said, uh, I'll uh, when I get back home, uh, I'll uh, listen to it and get back with you and uh, let you know what I think about it. So I'm going to do the song, and then I'll read you the letter that he sent me back. Hello, Ramblin' Jack. Please come back. Oh, where'd you go? We'd like to know. You drift on in, you ride the wind. We turn around, and you're gone again. Hello, Ramblin' Jack. Please come back. You hung with Woody. For quite a while, you picked up a lot of Woody's style. You sang his song, you played the part. And that's what made you the rambling sort. Hello, rambling Jack, please come back. We enjoy your songs, and we enjoy your wit. Well, we thought there once that you might have quit. Well, you disappeared, wonder what went wrong. Thought for a while that we'd heard your last song. Well, old Ramblin' Jack, please come back. Well, most folks don't know who you are. Think I made you up sitting in this bar. Well, most folks don't care, don't go up too far. So lost you stay and gone you are. Well, old Ramblin' Jack, please come back. Now, Randy, you said that uh, 
Did uh, Ramon Jack wrote you a letter? Yes, he did. Well, and I brought it along here to share it with you. Wrote that. me this letter when he got back and listened to that oh, song. Ramon. This is from Ramon Jack he Elliott. Any advice, Ramon? He says, Dear Ramblin Randall, I listened to your song and was touched. But in the future, please don't use my name in any other of your future endeavors. Uh, yours truly, Ramblin Jack. <laughs> so that's, yeah. what, that's what he thought of my song. <clears throat> Did that change your opinion of Ramblin Jack? No. Uh, he, still like no. Yeah. he still drinks heavily. He might have drank. <laughs> Well, this is that. a future endeavor, so you're, <laughs> you're liable to come to prison after all. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he may prosecute after all. I wanted to get that grin of Randy's into this. <laughs> 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 he's got the world, world champion. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, well, I got to, you know I got to go see Ramblin' Jack, yeah. and that was a milestone for me. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, like I said, he sounded good, and, and uh, I got to actually get to talk to him uh, when he took his break. He came down and went down, actually talked to him, and, and uh, shook his hand and told him I wrote that song for him. He took my CD, and I and, uh, haven't heard anything since until I got this letter. Oh. <laughs> so, oh. But yeah, well, that's... He probably uh, thinks you're a stalker. Okay, here. Now, you wrote a song about NAFTA, didn't you? Right? Yes, I wrote a song about NAFTA. Uh, I was uh, I was tired of listening about it on the radio and on television, and I kept thinking, you know what? I'm no politician, mathematician, or whatever. But I even know that that's, a that's good not thing. going to help. That's, that's a good thing too. That's <laughs> that's not going to help the American worker in his in his uh. Uh, constant struggle to uh, decent wages and it's turned out now that it hasn't helped us that uh, industry has went overseas and more and more people's out of work and uh, although there you don't seem to be doing anything about that so even though it was 10 years too late I still sit down and I wrote a song about the North American free never, trade agreement it's never too late to have a protest and it's never too late and then <laughs> one day in the future, which is coming, in the future that is, <laughs> you can never have enough future. And uh, that's where we're all going. But go we're going to see it that uh, uh, the American people are going to uh, complain about that enough. They're going to have to address that again. And when they do, Video Bob and myself already we are ready for this, and we already have. On uh, Facebook accounts, uh, uh, YouTube, uh, front porch videos, all this, we're ready. We've got this, this, this thing sprinkled and scattered all, all, all over the media. This North America Free Trade Agreement, Saturated. NAFTA, Saturated. NAFTA yeah. do we have to NAFTA, found on uh, YouTube as have to NAFTA. Now this is a protest song concerning the North American Free Trade Agreement. Now the politicians say this thing called NAFTA is the way. Well they say with this small countries could compete with us today. Well that sounds all good and proper, but I have one thing to say. How do we all keep from starving in the good old USA? So do we have to be part of NAFTA? Well, it seems to me we're gonna be a hurting if we do. So do we have to be part of NAFTA? Well, let's find the ones that want it, and we'll give them all the shoot. Well, the times are getting harder, and there's less jobs every day. Because the factories are closing, and they're all moving away. Well, they say we're all consumers here in the good old USA. But how do we buy anything if we have no way to pay? So do we have to be part of NAFTA? Now, it seems to me we're going to be a hurting if we do. So do we have to be part of NAFTA? Well, let's find the ones that want it, and we'll give them all the shoes. And we'll rub their nose in poo. Some people call it do, make it feel good, me and you. You got together this fellow named Video Bob, and, and this he, Video uh, Bob guy, he dug up some uh, dug up some 
cartoon plays mostly the cartoon quest, plays. The question is, what comes after NAFTA? What comes yeah. after NAFTA? <laughs> that's, well, that's, that's another song and another but show, I guess, really. We're going to be ready. You want to sequel to this song. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be after, ready. Yeah. Yes, but the owner of this house just showed up, and that means that we've been caught, so we've got to go, or we got to run. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing about him. He was born Randy. a rambling man. Oh, he was, yeah. 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 When the Lord made him, made a rambling man. So uh, I, think, I think we've uh, put another porch cast right where it belongs. Yeah, porch uh, cast of Yeah. And I'm spent. I'd just like to say until, until next time, be sure to practice your yodeling just... <laughs> what was the line? <laughs> just what? <laughs> You're feeding me all my other lines. Man. Just, <laughs> well, I'm trying. Uh, you got to make it up as you go along. That's Indiana Jones. I'll say it again. Okay, do it again. <clears throat> just not around us or me. Oh, you know? I can do it again. Okay. Until next time, be sure to practice your yodeling just... Just in case somebody asks you to yodel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> or <laughs> you should add that on your prison song. <laughs> takes too much wind. They don't make them like they used to, like Fred's. Oh, no, there yeah. takes a lot of wind. You gotta break them in. Yeah. Gotta break them in, though. Man. And what, what, what else is in the case? <laughs> Perfect timing. Yeah, Phone rang once. Phone rang once when you're on. Oh, did it? Yeah, one time. That's what you were saying. Well, here's the trailer from my Video Be Good YouTube channel with Allison Krauss and her brother playing with Swamp Ways on an album called Different Strokes. Whoa! <laughs> oh, wow.